Good morning. Lawrence left a, uh, a comment on my Panel Pro video and I thought it might be interesting to, to see what's going on there. He was asking about how do you import an AnyRail file into Panel Pro as a panel. I've never done that so I thought it would be interesting just to see how it's done. So let's get started. The, uh, the first thing I did was I created a new Panel Pro configuration just to play with. I called it AnyRail. Of course, when you do that, it gives you the preference boxes, wants you to assign all your connections and all that good stuff. We've covered all that in, in the Panel Pro um, video. So I'm not going to go into any of that. We're going to skip all that. We're going to go straight into the question of how to import a panel, an AnyRail file into Panel Pro. Let me just drop that out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I did in, in AnyRail. Opened up AnyRail and I went to File and the first thing I did was I had a, a table designed already. This little 5 by 10 foot table it was an actual layout that I had built. But what I did here was I I drew a, a gray rectangle as a background and I added a, a little bit of a text down below explaining the grid size and, and the table size. And I exported this and imported it and lo and behold uh, there it was. I had the background and I had this text and that's not what I really wanted. So I uh, I took this and I edited it and I took out the, the, the gray rectangle and I removed the text and then I saved this file. Then I went to export as GMRI layout file and it asks where do you want to put it and I'm putting it in my documents folder and it's going to name it the demo 5 by 10 table. I saved it and now I'm I'm actually done with any rail. I'm just going to drop it down. And now I'm in Panel Pro again. So I'm going to go to Panels. Um, load Panel. That's right. And then I, you have to hunt and find a folder in my case, I'm already set to documents where I stored this. Okay, and there's my demo XML file. So I'm going to load it. Takes a little time. There it is. So now I have the panel imported into Panel Pro. Let's go here to Options. We'll set it to Edit Mode. You can see I now have a, a working version of the panel. Right click on the on this piece of track and um, I guess I missed the spot. Try that again. There it is. I got it. So I'm going to change that piece of track to mainline and it does. It changes it to mainline and I'll go in and I'll hit edit. Okay and then from the edit screen I can set it back to sidetrack. Okay I could assign it a, a block number or auto block it okay um, or I can go in and, and get in here and create the black the block just like a, a normal um, editor program now with that being said I can also go down here and if you look close can I zoom that? No, I can't zoom it right now. Yeah, there's zoom four times. Let me zoom that sucker up. There's the turnout, right? You can see now the turnout's working. So it looks like I've got a working import. One thing, one other thing that I did discover, let me zoom back out here, it looks a little nicer, is that 
sometimes when you're doing your import, you may have to go in here and uh, set some of your options, like your track options. You may want to turn off the automatic block assign, um, right, and, and do all these options as you feel you need them set. So I guess what I'm saying is import it, play with it. If it's what you like, save it. If it's not what you like, uh, just discard it and re reload, uh, change your settings and reload it until you get all the settings that you want. Once you have that uh, imported, don't forget that it, it's not saved. Okay, so where am I going to save it? File, store panels. Okay. See, it's going to want to put it back in my documents folder because that's where it got it from. But I'm sure that's not where you're storing your JMRI fo fo uh, files. So you would go in here, of course, and then hunt, right, to, to find your uh, proper folder. And then you would save it out as a, as a panel. That way, it's available next time you come in to JMRI. Then you would just go save, load, and it would come in from the uh, appropriate folder for you. It's kind of a short video. It went smoothly. I hope it answers some, some questions and helps everybody to understand what's going on. Thank you very much. Have a good day.